what well, the disgrace that Scotland is one of the few countries that found oil and got poorer, mm -hmm. and that is why our kids are in poverty today. And the lessons there are clear, and we must heed them when it comes to renewables, because uh, Scotland's potential when it comes to renewables is enormous. We have got such a significant percentage of uh, the world's access to all forms of renewables. So I'd say there's three things that we need to do. First is we start with communities. And we need to make sure and recognise that, particularly as the gentleman talked about earlier, when it comes to community ownership of land, recognising that our communities need a stake in the, uh, the renewable sources of energy, their land, their wind, uh, their um, uh, shore when it comes to, to tidal. And we've seen, I think, examples of where this could work well when it comes to particularly around decommissioning, but also renewables. So that's the starting position. The second is how do we make sure that the revenue that is generated is reinvested in Scotland? Now, we already heard talk about Norway's sovereign wealth fund. It's too late for us to have a sovereign wealth fund when it comes to oil, but it's not too late when it comes to renewables. And we need to ensure that that revenue is being generated and reinvested in our national health service and in other uh, public services. And the last thing I was going to say is when it comes to ensuring that Scotland is an attractive place to live, work and do business, renewables is where it's at. You know, the potential when it comes to the supply chain, the small businesses, the large businesses. I spoke not that long ago to a business that had the option of relocating to anywhere in the world and came to Scotland because of what we're doing in hydrogen. He chose to. He's creating the jobs. He's attracting uh, people to come and live and work in Scotland and contributing. And that is how we ensure that we grow our population. So those are three just very quick ways that I think we do it. But... We cannot repeat the mistakes. There's a big opportunity. And by the way, in case you hadn't noticed, Scotland is big enough and is wealthy enough to become independent as demonstrated by that potential.